Look, all I'm saying is that we can make this about who did what to who and tally up all the points we've got, but then we just wind up with a giant scorecard instead of a marriage. Hey, I'm the one who's trying to say this is okay, I forgive you, let's move on, and I get a lecture about how I don't know how to be in a marriage? What is that? You just don't get it, do you? We celebrate and bless the wedding of Susan and Russell. He's sorry he didn't understand before. The Jewish wedding canopy. This chuppah symbolizes many, many things. It is tradition in the Jewish religion. Mainly, this chuppah symbolizes the home that they will share. To... Well, I guess we still have some stuff to work out. But we will. I know. Great! <laughs> Dama Montgomery, D.H. Yes, yes, I'll hold. Can't this thing go any faster? Not until we get to the top of the hill. <laughs> Should have waited for my car. It was blocked in, Edward. The valet said it was going to take another 20 minutes. And maybe I should walk. I'll let them know you're on the way. Shh, Edward. I'm sorry. Could you repeat that? All right. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. What? What did they say? Dom is still in surgery, and they're going to let Gregory know we'll be there as soon as we can. So, it's fine. What happened to your new van, Finkelstein? Abby's been asking me that for two weeks. Will you people leave me alone? I'll remember. Buddhist <laughs> priest. Excuse me for not being Mr. Gottrocks, who can just run out and buy a new van every time he loses one. Where? <laughs> Sorry. I'll get us there as fast as I can. It's all right, Larry. You're doing fine. <sighs> Greg's so full of it, I don't snore. Hello, Dharma. Hi, George. Are you dead? Oh, no, no, it's just the anesthesia. I just had an operation. I'm totally not dead. Phew. I mean, not that that's bad being dead. You're dead, and that's great for you. It's okay. Uh, what are you doing here? I was up in a maternity ward. I'm thinking about reincarnation. Did you see anything good? One ugly little girl, big ears. Hey, it's me. How you doing? Well, I'm not snoring. I'm, I'm so sorry. Hey, George, do you think this happened for a reason? Do you think there's some kind of lesson that we're supposed to learn from this accident? Maybe next time you should drive. <laughs> oh. Oh, hey. Gregory. How are you, son? I'm fine. They said that, that she came through the surgery great. Hey, Pumpkin. We're here. We got here as fast as we could. Uh, the van stalled. We had to walk from Market Street. Market Street. Hey, let's see how we're doing. Oh, Dr. Coleman, um, these are Dharma's parents, and, uh, and these are my parents. Uh, this is the guy who did the operation? Mm -hmm. He's pretty good, except he sang along to Christina Aguilera for the whole thing. Each his own. Hey, okay, um, she was pretty banged up. We're very optimistic about her recovery. Okay. Can you give it to us without all the medical mumbo-jumbo? She's going to be fine, Larry. Thank you. Was that so hard? She suffered a number of minor injuries, but what we had to deal with was her fractured hip. We've set it with a pin, so it's going to be a while before she's on her feet again. And she's going to need your help to maintain a structured approach to her physical therapy. Structured? I, I think I can do that. Oh, yeah. Greg's your guy there. Okay. I'll check in on her in the morning. Thank you, doctor. Doctor? Yeah? We want her to have the best possible care. No expenses to be spared. The gang will be glad to hear that. <laughs> George, check it out. Everyone's getting along. These things bring people together. We should have flipped the car years ago. <laughs> okay, a little. 
<laughs> okay, we're just going to manipulate your cervical vertebrae a bit, all right? Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Okay. okay. Hey, that's okay. 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 Oh, okay, no, that sucks. Suckety, suck, 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 suck. <laughs> you know what? Really, that's pretty good. You know, your range of motion is about 45 degrees. Really? Because uh, yesterday it was 50. It's kind of subjective. <laughs> At least so yesterday. She's an easy grader. I think she's a little sweet on me. Okay, there goes your date, cupcake. You know, because if it is subjective, you really shouldn't use numbers. You should just say good or not so good, because if you use numbers, it imposes an arbitrary quantification. Does it? And there's nothing Greg hates more than arbitrary quantification. Except maybe raisins in his rice pudding. Oh, and when people say often. Karma, you have to take this seriously. How much more serious than do you want me to get? <laughs> okay, is he always like this? Often. <laughs> but, you know, one look at that butt and it's all worth it. Yeah, butts are good. They are. Yeah, but for me, it's all about the calves. Oh, yeah? You want to see some good calves? Honey, show us some leg. We're not here for girl talk. Sorry. How's your penis, Nancy? So good. Thanks. <laughs> Great. You know, I was just reading uh, an article in the Journal of Physical Therapy that said at this point in lower body injuries, you should really concentrate on building upper body strength. I didn't read that. <laughs> Bet he's got a copy for you. Excuse me? Craig Montgomery. Wow, he is really all over this. Oh, yeah. Betty's on the phone right now to the Mayo Clinic getting a second opinion. Hey, honey. Darma, hold on a second. I'm on with the doctor from Johns Hopkins. <laughs> How close was I? <laughs> Edwin. Mm hmm? Are you aware that Gregory has asked Abby and Larry to look after the dogs and water the plants while Dom is in the hospital? Yeah, well, that makes sense. He's not home much lately. That is not my point, Edward. Well, I missed it then. Sorry. <laughs> my point is, Gregory did not ask us. Ah. <laughs> Edward, if we do not do something to help the children, this will come back to haunt us. Why are you going to Dharma's family for Thanksgiving? Because they walked the dogs, they watered the plants. I'm sorry, was that supposed to be two people talking? Because you use the same voice. I'm all alone in this marriage, aren't I? Well, I know who's talking there. Oh, Lear, the crystals have to be lined up so that the light refracts through them into Dharma's healing chakra. Where's this go? That's the handle to the shopping bag. <laughs> Just hook that back onto the shopping bag. What are we doing? A healing ceremony. Uh-huh. Hey, don't knock it. I never missed a day of school growing up. You were homeschooled. What exactly is this supposed to accomplish? Oh, frankly, not much, Greg. It's a stopgap. I mean, what would really help her is an African replenishment circle. Oh, absolutely. <sighs> we should really be taking her to go see Natty M. Banga in Santa Fe. <laughs> oh, Natty M. Banga's the best. Yeah. Okay, you want to drag her 500 miles so somebody can wave chicken feathers over her head? Chicken feathers? She doesn't have high blood pressure, Greg. Okay, Dharma. Oh, Dr. Pullman. How's the physical therapy going? Well, she's making progress, but she's still got a little pain when she flexes her knee joint. I made a notation in her chart. Don't do that. <laughs> Sorry. That's it. Doctor, could you possibly do that later? Because there isn't a lot of sunlight left, and I have two whole pages to chant. Oh, all right, sure. Now I'll come back in the morning. Thanks. Well, you're kidding, right? You can't just walk out because they're doing voodoo? After four years, he still can't tell the difference between voodoo and a harmonic alignment ceremony? Mm. Don't be too hard on him. I think he's feeling guilty about the accident, and he's kind of channeling it all into trying to take really good care of me. All oh, right. Of course. Oh, yeah, just like you and your friend Tito in high school. I'll go talk to him. 
What happened with Tito? They were putting up posters for their band and your father shot Tito in the hand with a staple gun. <laughs> he felt so bad about it that he mowed Tito's lawn for the whole summer. Oh. At least he thought it was Tito's lawn. <laughs> mm -hmm. When I was in high school, I was in a band with my best friend Tito. Tito had an older brother who was in the Navy and he claimed there was a woman who liked to sleep with young guys, you know, take their virginity. She supposedly lived in a yellow house, so we drove around for hours looking for it. And you know what, Greg? There was no yellow house. <laughs> See what I'm saying here? No, I really don't. <laughs> Sorry, Pumpkin. I told him the Tito story. <laughs> Dharma? Hey! Over here! Hey! Honey, don't you have a two o'clock physical therapy session? Eh, I blew it off for today. Build your own taco bar over there, and if you can find us a long pole, we're gonna do wheelchair limbo. Why would you blow it off? Because we're having a going away party for Stan. He got his beautician's license. <laughs> Check it out. What? what do you think? I like it. Huh? Is oh. it too short? No, honey, it looks really good. Listen, did, did Nancy say that you could skip physical therapy? Nancy did the shampoo. Hey, Greg. Hey, buddy. He, what are you doing here? He is not being fixed up. He's just a single person invited to an event where there just happens to be another single person there. I'm getting fixed up. With me. <laughs> okay. Fiesta's over for Dharma. She has to go to physical therapy. Nancy will meet you downstairs. And Pete, you uh, get back to the office. Well, I think I know where we can find a limbo pole. <laughs> Great, can I see you out in the hallway for a moment? Nancy said it's okay to skip one day of physical therapy. This is the same Nancy who seems to think Pete is a catch. Oh, good. You're both here. Hey, Doc. You're just in time to take a whack at the pinata. We didn't have any candy, so we filled it with aspirin. <laughs> uh, um, listen. We took a look at this morning's x-rays, and we're a little concerned about how the pin is sitting. Now, we could wait and see how it heals, but I'd prefer to go back in and realign things a bit. I vote wait. Dharma, this is something the doctor thinks we should do. But I don't want to. She's gonna need some more time to think about it, but why don't we go ahead and schedule it so we can just get the ball rolling. Okay. Great. Oh, excuse me. Honey, you can roll all the balls you want. I'm not gonna have another operation. Dharma, just think about it, and if you decide later you don't want it, then we can cancel. Then cancel? I'm not gonna spend another two hours lying on a table while someone cuts me open and sings Genie in a Bottle. We'll talk about it later. Come on. No, you go. I got a limbo contest to judge. You have to go to physical therapy. It's just one session. If I want to play hooky and whack at a paper mache donkey full of painkillers, I'm gonna. Great. Who had a good bath? We had a good bath, did we? Yes, we did. Larry, I think you need to see this. Dharma has mutual funds. Boy, you always think it's going to be somebody else's kid, and bam, it's yours. Let's not say anything. She'll come to us when she's ready. Since when is it a crime to tip a doorman? He wasn't holding the door, Edward. He was licking it. And that's not worth a couple of bucks? Hello? Oh, Abby, love, Joan. Well, we're here to relieve you. What? Yes, we're going to walk the dogs and water the plants and what have you. All right, just a tip. If you decide to get in the bath with the dogs, keep an eye on Nunzio. He can get a little curious. Uh, I think they've got things under control. Nonsense, Edward. It isn't fair they shouldn't have to shoulder all the responsibility themselves as a woman with a child. You know, we did want to take Harry down to the carousel in the park. We're protesting the depiction of animals in captivity. Aha. Well, that sounds like a lovely little family outing. Okay. All right. Well, this is the list, ah. and we've uh, marked off the things we've done. You want us to go over it with you? Oh, there's no need, Abby. We, we, we know how to read a list. Well, off you thank go. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. Okay, bye-bye. Don't let the doorman lick you on the way out. I never understood that expression. All right. They've brought in the mail. They've bathed the dogs. Edward, why don't you give Stinky his heartworm pills, and I will change the water in the tofu culture tray. Which one is Stinky? Oh, for heaven's sakes. Edward, we've known these dogs for years. Well, hmm. Well, the name should give you a clue. 
You're not suggesting I smell them, are you? Well, maybe you could take a bath with them and see which one gets curious. What's going on? Wheelchair tongue depressor jello relay races. If you've never seen this before, you're in for a real treat. Go, go, go! Go, 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 go! Buffer if you have to! Dharma! What? Buffing's legal? Buffing is totally legal. Should you be doing this? I mean, I'm in pain no matter where I am. At least out here, I can open this baby up and see what she's got. Hey, listen. I'm sorry that I was pushing you before. Thank you. I know you're concerned about having the second operation, so I used some of my parents' connections, and I got in touch with a guy who's supposed to be the best on the West Coast. His name is Dr. Gower, and he's at UCLA, but he's flying up tonight. What? He checked your records, and he agreed to do the operation, and Dr. Coleman's totally cool with it. In fact, I think he's a little starstruck. Uh, Dharma, I thought you talked to Greg about this. Abby and Larry are taking me for a healing in Santa Fe. Well, how could you plan that without even talking to me? Oh, the Tito story about the stapler. That's what you wanted me to tell him. Can you guys need us a second? Yeah, sure, honey. I told him the one about the yellow house. What yellow house? Exactly. <laughs> honey, I know you want to help me. And I've been doing things your way, but this... It's my body. And I've always done a pretty good job taking care of it, and I always will. And right now, I really want to do things my way. What's wrong with that? Nothing. If it's just you going through this. But this isn't just you going through this. This is us going through this. And if there's any chance that this operation's gonna make you better, you have no right not to do it. Well, as best as I can tell, he's eaten six hot worm pills. Uh-huh. Well, I had them wrapped in uh, raw turkey bacon. He... He must have taken them when I wasn't looking. He probably thought they were hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> no, no, he's not a dog. He's a 65-year-old man. <laughs> I called his doctor. They said to speak to you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Fine. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. All right, he said to walk you twice a day and keep you off of dry food for the weekend. <laughs> If you want more stovetop casserole, there's plenty right there on the stovetop. And we have enough for two more weeks right here in the freezer, at which point I will come back and make you more. Because your mommy is here to help. You know, I didn't know if I was going to be able to make this dish, but I was delighted to find out that Dharma has finally started buying milk that comes from cows instead of beans. <laughs> You know, Gregory, if Dama didn't have you, she would be trying to fix that hip by sitting on some mountaintop in Kathmandu, wrapped in bark, instead of behaving like a normal person and having that operation tomorrow. She's come a long way in four years, and that is all you're doing. And I think you should feel very proud. Here, Edward, din din. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm going to have an operation. They gave me a shot. <laughs> You're going to have another operation? I need to be responsible. We're in this together. Hey, Dharma. Hey! They gave me a shot. This is Dr. Gower. Morning. And they're going to take you down to the operating room now. Now, do you have any questions? Would you ask my dead Indian friend if he would like a shot? Okay, I think you're good to go. I'll see you after the operation. Everybody, uh, hang on just a second. Um, I'm very sorry. There's going to be a change in plans. Don't make me know, never mind. I had a shot. <laughs> Sorry. I guess I kind of forgot who you were. It's okay. Yeah. It's 
all gonna be okay.